Hello, everybody. Today we will be solving problem 22 of the 2021 AMC 12B. It's also problem 24 of the AMC 10B. The problem reads, Arjun and Beth play a game in which they take turns in moving one brick or two adjacent bricks from one wall among a set of several walls of bricks with gaps possibly creating new walls. The walls are one brick tall. For example, a set of walls of size four and two can be changed into the following by one move. Three, two, two, one, two, four, four, one, two, two, or one, one, two. Arjun plays first, and the player who removes the last brick wins. For which starting configuration is there a strategy that guarantees a win for Beth? Okay, before we um, go and go ahead and tackle this problem, let's um, let's take a look at a different problem. This one's a lot easier. Two players are playing a game where the players have a large supply of equally sized circular coins and the players take turns um, adding coins to the table and the coins are not allowed to overlap. And once a coin is placed on the table, it is not allowed to be moved. The player who has no place to put his next coin loses. Develop a winning strategy for the player who starts. Um, and the answer to this one is fairly simple. If you have a circular table, then what you want to do is you want to put a coin right in the middle if you're the first player. Then whatever the second player does, the first player copies. Like if the second player places his coin there, the first player can place his coin on the other side. And if the second player places the coin over here, the first player places his coin over here. And what's going to happen is since player one is always able to copy player two, there is no way player two is going to be able to play a move that, that leaves player one without any other moves. And this is called the copycat strategy. And um, this strategy is what we're going to use to solve the AMC problem. All right. So we have this game and Arjun and Beth are playing it and we want to find which starting configuration is their strategy that guarantees a win for Beth. And let's look at one of these answer choices just to get a sense about what we're doing here. We have this 611 block, which looks something like this. And the six is going to look something like this. All right. And turns out Arjun's winning strategy is to get rid of these two, get rid of these two blocks. What, what he's going to leave the what he's going to leave Beth with is, since he's removing these two little blocks, he's going to he's going to end up with going to end up with excuse me he's going to end up with a two two one one split, right? Because on um, two blocks, two blocks, one block, one block, he's going to end up with a two two one one split. And that's bad news for Beth because it, whatever she does, he's going to copy. He's going to copy her. So if if um, for example, she removes she removes excuse me if she removes this block over here, Arjun is going to do the identical thing for another block of size two, he's going to take away this one. And similarly, if, and then if Beth decides to remove this one entirely, Arjun's going to take this one and remove it entirely. And then if Beth removes this one, Arjun's going to remove the last one and win. So 611, it turns out no matter what Beth does, Arjun can copycat it. So We can't, we can rule out choice A. And 
it turns out we can rule out three more of these answer choices. And okay, let's let's go ahead and do them. I'm gonna skip all the way to answer choice E because if we have a six, a three, and a two, what's gonna happen is so first of all, this one, this one's a six, this one's a three over here. And this one's a two. Arjun can remove this middle block over here. You can remove this middle block over here. And what's that going to leave Beth with? It's going to leave Beth with a three, two, three, two split. And this is bad for Beth because you see, this is entirely symmetrical. There are two threes and two twos, which means that whatever Beth does, Arjun can copycat him. So that essentially guarantees a winning strategy for Arjun for E. And for answer choice, for answer choice D, something similar can happen. Like if we if we start out with a six, three, one. What Arjun does is since he can take two adjacent bricks away, he removes he removes these two. He removes these two. And this leaves Beth with a 3131 three, split. And once again, you see that this is symmetrical because there are two threes and two ones. So whatever Beth does, Arjun can copycat it which means this case fails. And finally, let's go to answer choice C, which is 622. Two. Then what Arjun can do is if he has, if he has 622 two split, what he can do is he can get rid of these two in the middle and he's gonna leave Beth with a two, 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 two split. And once again, you can see that this is symmetric. So whatever Beth does, Arjun copycats him. So we can rule out answer choice C, and we have that the only one for which Arjun does not have a copycat strategy is answer choice B. So by process of elimination, this is the only one that does not immediately lose for Beth. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.